Coming to the stage, very funny lady, you gotta show your love right now for Miss Genevieve Joy. Come on. I'm not funny. You guys are really nice. That's great. I, uh, no, seriously, I, I appreciate it. I actually, uh, I had this whole, like, concept that I was gonna, like, I can tell you guys all my jokes, but fuck it, really. I'm not, we're all friends here by this point, so I'm just gonna talk about what's going on, and that's okay. I haven't been on stage in over a month because I had a little situation. Um, I, yeah, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm really, I'm really talking to the girl. I understand this is unfair. I'm going to make all the men grossed out and uncomfortable. I had some bleeding when I wasn't supposed to. So I call that number from the pandemic that's like, call a doctor, don't bother to go. And I was like, hey, so this is what happened. Like, is this like something that can be handled with some Midol, Pepto-Bismol, or like, should I see? They were like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Go to the doctor, like right now. So I went. And I found out that I have this condition called uterine fibroids. Does anybody know what this is? Yeah, we're cl clapping, that's exciting. It, what, it, what it means is that I have these gigantic hideous tumors in my uterus, which they're not cancerous, so it's not that scary, so I can talk about it, everybody come down, so it's sort of funny, they're gross. Uh, they're, they're, they're weird, they're weird though, and they're big, and they're like leaning on my insides, which is, you're so uncomfortable. It's, it gets better. It gets better. It gets a lot worse. Um, so, yeah, they're like leaning on my inside, which is why I have to pee all the time. But, like, while I'm in the doctor, like, here's what's so fucked up about it. I'm like lying on the table, and these doctors are like, mm, mm, mm. oh, were you not aware that you look four months pregnant? And then another one comes in and is like, my God, you look six months pregnant. I'm like, I felt this was just my body. Like, so mean, you know? I'm like, I mean, I know I drink too much, but Jesus Christ, like, do I really look that pregnant? They're like, Ugh. So anyway, I, I made, like, I was all scheduled to have these things taken out, and then, surprise, I actually got pregnant. Um, don't get excited, it didn't go on. So I, like, my first impulse, was like, I need to like control, all delete like right now because of the fibroids also, I don't want a baby. But then I told my boyfriend and he was all like, it's a miracle. And I was like, fuck. So, it's awful. So everyone in my life is like so excited, except me. But you know, it, like the hormones make you crazy and then you're like, maybe I, well, anyway, one day. <laughs> One day the fibroids grew, and I'm being crushed from the inside. So I go to the doctor, I'm like, shut it down, shut it down right now. So for, for, all the, for everyone who's never been through this, um, emergency abortions are now done at home. Uh, they give you this little packet, this like do-it-yourself abortion kit, and they send you home. And they're like, it'll be like a period. It is nothing like a period. It was, it took as long as this comedy show for, for me to, to feel like I had knives all over my body while projectile vomiting while my mother sat there like, and so awful. So anyway. I'm still feeling terrible days later. I go back to the hospital. This is terrible, this isn't funny. I go back to this. I go back to the hospital where they tell me, oh, well you're still sick because it's still there. And I said to this doctor, I beg your pardon? And he goes, it's still there. And I went, what? It's still there. And he goes, oh. Oh, it's dead. It's just not, you know, God. <laughs> A doctor said that. And I said, oh, well, that's reassuring. So so they put me on the bed, and they're, they're, this is why I haven't been on stage. They, they put me on this bed, and they're wheeling me down the hall. And I'm thinking, is this what it feels like to be a dead body? And, <laughs> but I didn't think it. I, I said it. I said, and then the little, the Filipino male nurse is like, well, maybe, like for a little while. 
I'm like, yeah, no, I know. And then they stick you in the ground and forget about you. He's like, no, no one will forget you. I'm like, I'm not actually dead. Don't worry about it. And then I look up and the windows in the hospital are decorated like the sky. And I'm like, this is fucked. Now I feel like I'm like in heaven. And he goes, well, you're really gonna like this. My name is Angel. And I was like, that is the greatest thing I've heard all day. Anyway, I'm alive, so thank you for having me. I'm gonna go. I didn't tell any jokes, but I feel like this was better for me anyway. Thank you, everyone. Good night.